There is this Samoan term called the va, and that can be defined as um, the space between. So it's not a tangible space. It's something that I guess where like ancestors, time, um, experiences, all kind of coexist and meet in this non-tangible space. My name is Talia Smith. Um, I am from Aotearoa, New Zealand, but I have lived in Sydney for eight years now. And I'm an artist and curator, and I work uh, out in Western Sydney um, as a curator there, and sometimes make art. My solo exhibition, Don't Be Bashful, Wear the Flower Behind Your Ear, is a photographic installation featuring um, still life photographs that, which have been hand painted as well as um, structures, wall-like structures. And I like to um, try and physically embody what the VA could look like to me, which is what the wall structures represent, is this kind of um, openness, I suppose, uh, and that you can like walk around the structures, you can see through the structures. It's fluid, it's changeable, and I don't think there is one set way of experiencing even the VAR. So that's me trying to make something intangible, tangible. I am of Samoan, Cook Island, and New Zealand European heritage. And so that really kind of mixed race experience is very important to me and what I really like to explore through my work because I believe that identity is something that is fluid and changeable. You know, it changes um, or appears in your life in different ways over your whole entire life from, you know, I guess when I was younger, I experienced it in one way and now that I'm older, I've come to try and understand, I suppose, that identity isn't fixed. So that's what I'm trying to do with this work through the objects. I suppose to really look at stereotypes of culture, but also to challenge the idea of what is authentic. What does it mean to be authentically a Pacific Islander? What does it mean to be uh, a woman living here in, not on my land, but I also am not from the land of Aotearoa either, as I'm not indigenous to New Zealand. And I didn't grow up in my ancestral homelands. So you kind of have this really I guess it's a strange relationship to, to land and to culture and I've really come to realise that that's okay and there is no conclusion to it. You're always changing, you're always growing um, and that's what I'm trying to do with my work. So I did things like um, dipped the photographs literally into watered down paint or I did washes with a paintbrush, or I did details with a fine paintbrush, yeah. So I really didn't know what it was going to do. Like I sometimes left them soaking uh, in like the paint bath overnight or just an hour or, yeah. Like, I mean, I have at least 40, so this is only a very small shot, snapshot of the overall project. So um, there was a lot more that I can show and also want to keep working with. Like the bleach thing's quite interesting, so I want to keep going with that and adding actual paint because I didn't really add paint, I just left it with bleach. And I have been, with the soaking of the salt in salt water, um, what happens if you have it for a very, very long time is the inks start um, like separating. And it, they look really interesting as well when that happens, but it, it takes quite a long time. So that's something I've semi played with as well as just soaking in salt water and then the crystals um, kind of grow and get stuck on the image itself, which is quite beautiful. And I thought that was just a really obvious and nice connection to salt water. I hope that the viewers who come to see my exhibition experience, I guess like there's ambiguity to this work and I'm not trying to lead someone to a conclusion. This is all a beginning and it will always be growing and so I hope that people see this as a way of looking at their own experiences and their own identity and connection to what culture can mean and think that there is not one way and there never is and it will always change. So I hope that people can take away with them that, um, yeah, that they can experience it how they want to and there is no right or wrong. 
I also just hope that they come and enjoy and get lost in the photographs as well and think about also objects that are special to them and why they are and, and how that could represent them if they were to make a self-portrait.